Hi, Lou here, and I'm going to talk about short-termism, both as it applies to games and to the rest of life. Now, what I'm calling short-termism in games is very common. People would be happy to play games for hours, but they don't want to play any single game that's longer than an hour. If you look at a catalog of a publisher, you'll find that most of the newer games will be an hour or less. Now, part of this comes from Kickstarter, where the Kickstarter people who support tabletop games tend to be of the oh shiny generation, I think I would call it, and they're attracted by the appearance of the game um, or the idea of the game and not so much by the gameplay because, of course, at the point that they support it on Kickstarter, they don't know what the gameplay is going to be. Uh, even if there are uh, reviews that the publisher has commissioned, you have to be suspicious of reviews that have been commissioned. At least I think you do. But this focus on the short term is something that's part of the age of instant gratification, which is where we are now in, in the world zeitgeist. Everybody wants things now. They want to be gratified immediately. Patience is not a virtue anymore. People don't plan, and cell phones are a big reason why, because if you have a cell phone, you don't have to plan. You do things on the fly. Even in sports, people get uh, worried and think they're in a crisis when their team loses three games in a row, and they want to fire the manager, as though it was the manager's fault, even though an awful lot that happens in a uh, sporting team is not something the manager can do anything about or coach is it be the American term. But the fans, especially soccer fans, oh my God, oh my God, we lost three games in a row. We have to fire the manager and get somebody else. It's ridiculous. We have the situation in the stock market where quarterly gains are much more important than long-term games, it seems. And if your stock is not doing well quarter by quarter, you might sell it, even though the company is doing things that are going to cause say, losses now in order to be in a better position later. And we have day traders who are trying to make their money from the stock market by buying low and selling high, which is not, of course, the way most people used the stock market 50 years or more ago. They bought stocks that would provide really good dividends, and that was how they made money. There are a few stocks that still do that, like Ford, who declares a 15-cent dividend every corner quarter, and so as long as the Ford stock say, says uh, in price below, say, $10, you're making a much higher percentage than you could if you put your money into a bank or a long-term CD. Unfortunately, short-termism kills real strategy in games, because strategy, especially military strategy, is about patience and about long-term thinking. It's not about the immediate result. So we get uh, really a whole generation of gamers who are quite poor at anything resembling military strategy. And I could broaden that to say anything where the game focuses on maneuver and geospatial relationships. Or I could say anything that has generalship in it. That most players are not good at that because they haven't been exposed to that and they don't think that way. They think in short term rather than long term. So what do designers do? Well, they have to find shorter versions of games uh, or design games that are just short to begin with. And those will be more shallow, inevitably. They won't be deep games, but that's a consequence of the zeitgeist. Thanks for listening.